Welcome back, everybody. It is uh, November 13th. There's some snow flurries coming down. And we have moved the sheep, uh, most of them, up to uh, Eldridge Farms. They're uh, only a couple miles from our house. And we are going to improve their pasture with rotational grazing. Uh, being multi-species, and as often as we're going to be moving them, I'd more call it uh, also mob grazing, which is rotational grazing, but on crack. Um, <clears throat> we have our goats here and the sheep. These are Katahdin hair sheep. If you're new to the farm, uh, they are fantastic, and they are my favorite farm animal that we have. You can see this pasture here. I haven't shown you another piece uh, on purpose. They've been in this size paddock for a day and a half or two days. Uh, two days, we'll call it. This is what it used to look like. We are going to be setting up uh, this shorter fence. I don't know if you can see the height difference. And dividing a paddock this size into two days. So we're going to be moving these guys every single day. I wanted to show you all just a quick video of how easy it is to move these animals. You would almost think they're trained uh, to eat grass, that is. But wait a minute, they are. So I'm going to, I kind of goofed up here. I have the end of one fence here and the end of the next internal fence up there, uh, which could be a problem. So I need someone standing right here. I don't have anyone right now. So what I'm going to do is take this end section and just throw the fence in. Now the goats can see the passageway. The goats are going to go into the next section. I wish I could zoom out more instead of just having to stand right here. But I always put only one section in here uh, for them to go right through. You see some lambs jumping. Woohoo! They're so cool. <laughs> um, I only put give them one section to go through, which gives me an easier time to view them, make sure they're not... Uh, showing any symptoms of parasites or limping or anything like that. These sheep are from the second flock that we had bought. So they have never been rotationally grazed like this. Uh, most of these animals have. There's one or two that are joining from that new flock. But another thing I want to mention, we're moving them late in the day. It's getting below freezing at night, and I want to make sure they have a whole bunch of new, clean food in their stomachs going into the cold night. Uh, it's just a trick to make sure that their bodies stay nice and warm. Uh, a lot of producers do it. Um, I haven't lost an animal doing it this way because of this, uh, so I'm going to keep doing it. <clears throat> I'm going to abandon my post here. I'm going to make this a little bit wider and obvious for them to see. And I'm going to move these sheep with my arms. The goats aren't going to want to come back because this is all soiled, trampled down, nothing fresh. No, uh, no ice cream. I'm going to raise my left arm right now. I'm going to scoot a couple steps to the left. And they are going to peel around. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I took, I went too soon. My bad. Jeez. Just go. Oh, we've got a lot of work to do with those guys. They'll get used to it in a month or so. You'll never know that those guys had so much hesitation. But one funny thing that Justin and I have noticed with the goats, they love to eat the leaves. And uh, I'm going to try and show you one of the cool things about the goats. They like to eat the nasty stuff, the hard woody weeds. Goats have a reputation for going after rose bushes. Uh, it is very well deserved. Uh, sorry for the amazingly horrible camera work here. 
put that fence in so I don't have to chase any goats down the highway. But this black mama, Lebrana James, she's the mother to Milkshake. Uh, they are those two and 85, a solid white. You, uh, they are my favorite three sheep. They are awesome. Yes, because they are a little bit more friendly, but also uh, their shape and yeah, just everything. This you over here, it looks like she's still wearing her winter coat. We're gonna cull her out. Katahdins are not supposed to keep their coats. They're supposed to be able to shed them off in the summer. Uh, because she cannot shed it off for whatever reason, uh, that's kind of a liability. We do not need her dying prematurely, carrying lambs in her or not. So, uh, look at the baby! Anyway, you all try and stay warm out there.